Hey guys, Calm here, and today we're going to be doing another top 5, and this one's going to be top 5 drag cars. Now I think out of all the top 5s I've done in the past, this is definitely the toughest one I've had to do so far. Um, because I don't really do drag races that much, but I've searched high and wide all over the internet once again. I've tried all these cars out and uh, put together a top 5 for you guys, so uh, yeah, enough crap, and let's just get into this video. At number 5, I'm going to put in the Ford Mustang. I've always liked using this car, but there are some positives and some negatives about this car. And I think the biggest negative for me is that it's really hard to sort of get off the line on these drag races because the Ford Mustang like has like the longest first gear of all time, so it's quite slow at getting off. The bad thing about that is that it takes such a long time to get to the second gear so that you won't be able to get knocked for quite some time until you actually shift. The only good thing is that once you do get the car going, it does, you know, pick up quite a lot of speed. The acceleration is pretty good, and the top speed not too bad as well. So, you might it might be a slow start, but it does eventually get quite quick once you get going. At number four, I'm gonna have to put in the Nissan GTR because this car is pretty damn good. Now, this was one of my favorite cars that I used during the campaign, and um, I, I, it's just like an all-rounder type of drag car because the acceleration is really good, top speed's good and surprisingly the handling's not too bad either considering it's a drag car so you can actually use it for uh, like the, you know you get them sort of drag sprint races where you're actually like racing like around corners and all that sort of stuff. Well th this car is actually pretty good for that because the handling's not so bad. There's a lot of drag cars out there where you just can't turn the car like number five Ford Mustang is kind of like that because it does wheelies and you can't turn obviously while you're doing a wheelie so it's you know it's hard to race in them sort of like events with a car like that but the GTR sort of handles them races pretty well so if you've been struggling in, in them sort of events in the past then this might be the car for you. I just had to put this monstrosity as number three because it's just such an amazing all-rounder car and it is so much fun to use. I, I mean, it obviously isn't my favourite because it's not number one, but it's it's like so up there in, on this list because it's just speed, acceleration, handling. I think this has to be one of the best cars for handling in the drag race category I've come across because it, it just turns so sharply and so nicely as well. The car does like to do wheelies as well at the start of like, drag races and that, but it's, I think if you can keep the speed up to avoid the wheelies, this car is really, really good at turning corners, which is why I'm putting this at number three. Holy shit! <laughs> At number two, I'm going to put in the NSX because I think, well, I said that the Bet Customs is like one of the best cars at handling. I think this car is the best at handling because it's just so good to drive and it's not like slow at turning corners like most drag cars is. It actually feels like a race car because it's that good at handling. But, you know, it's, it's really quick and rapid as well, and you have no problems whatsoever winning drag races by using this car. I mean, this car is that good that it was really close to getting to number one spot, because after looking on the internet, a lot of people are coming out and saying that this car is the best drag car on the game. Which, you know, they're, they're not wrong because it's that good, but I think what I put number one just slightly edges over this car, which I'll tell you why in a minute. But if you haven't tried this car, you really do need to go out and try this one because it is really, really good car and a lot of fun to use as well. Now, there's going to be some people out there that's going to be like, what the fuck? Or you're going to get other people out there that's going to be like, oh, that's no surprise. But number one has to be the VW Beetle. And the main reason for this is because of just how amazing the acceleration is on this car. Now, when you're starting the drag race and the lights go green, as soon as you put the throttle on and use your NOS, it's literally like a jet plane taking off. It's, it's so... F I, can't just, I can't even put into words just how fast this, this car actually is. Now, before I keep going on about how great this car is, there is one major flaw on this car, and that is 
cornering. Oh, God, this thing didn't turn. Oh my God, this thing just doesn't turn. <laughs> like I said before, you get them sort of drag races where it's like street street racing sort of thing. This car cannot really handle them sort of circuits because the handling is so bad because the main reason for that is because the Beetle loves to do wheelies and he can't obviously turn while doing wheelies. But if you put that to one side and you just like use this car for them straight line drag races, you would seriously not lose any event at all using this car. But like I said, the main reason why this car is number one is because of just how amazing the acceleration is, which is really important for drag races. So that is why I'm sticking this at number one. Well, thanks a lot for watching this top five, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I helped you out a bit. And uh, if your car is not on the list that you like to use, then leave a comment below and uh, let everyone know what you're using and uh, we'll all try it out as well. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Need for Speed videos. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.